All right, so this is the Pixel Experience latest build available for my Redmi Note 10 Pro and Pro Max devices. So I've been using this device over this custom room from two to three days and I'm giving it full and final review over this. So if you're new to this channel and watches continuing adding to this, you must watch this video until the last and then decide to subscribe or not. So let's get started to the video. All right, guys, so this is the first of all Android version section. As you can see that it is based on Android latest 13. And it is surprised to see that in this build, there is few of the changes that I liked so much. And here is the Android security update of April 5th. And Q KEWL kernel version is being used and the build number as you can see th that. Now, I want to talk about the first of all smoothness of this ROM. So as you can see that there is no background apps open. So if you can see that I have set it up to 120 Hz and there is no issues with the previous lag. Even app opening and closing animation is also good. There is no issues with the QS panel while scrolling, editing, anything. There isn't any issues over there. Now talking about the customization, I am using the Pixel Experience normal version. So there is any not a single customization available for the room as you can see that. Now let us talk about the settings first of all. So this is the Wi-Fi internet settings and I am using my primary SIM card into this and haven't faced any sort of issues with the call quality. The Wi-Fi is also working fine. I am having the latest uh my recharge plan over the wi-fi and i can tell you the speeds are too good on this and i am testing the current live speed test over there and you can see that i am getting approximately 50 mbps of the speed in my device so far now talking about that here is the app section and there is something like pixel launcher has been uh, upgraded somewhat how that in the last build the pixel launcher having the much of the battery drain issues that is had been fixed so far so this is what you can see that and now this is the battery section as you can see that and here the optimization profiles is given so i would like to talk about that in the later part of the video about the optimization profiles here is the battery usage and i have been using it for the last two days and the battery is super cool in this custom row i like the battery usage uh, and you can see that everything performs fine i use duty for 60 minutes 45 minutes chrome and everything that you can see so far here is the battery percentage option as you can see that if i generally disable and enable it the battery percentage option gets enabled so far so there is any issue without it is not any problem this is sound and vibration option me sound enhancer is there but only works with what do you say earphones not with other things also now let's talk about the display section nothing new minimum refresh and maximum there i have set it to 120 hertz and the security you are getting the face and fingerprint unlocks both so there isn't any issue with that also and there is a systems option gestures option over there and normal settings is there system updater is there because due to its uh, what do you say official build so you are getting an updater so far and the thanks Pulki Tagurupal for meeting me in this awesome custom room. I really like the Pixel Experience latest build so far. And there is a rules, options and much that you can find that and I already talked about these ones. Now talking about the performance and benchmark that I have took so far and I also took the Antutu benchmark for yours and you can see that the surprising scores that I got so far is 3,65,883. I am happy with this but due to there is uh, too much hotness around this summer time i in my city there is 45 to 46 degrees celsius temperature so you can see that that's why 5.9 degrees celsius up in temperature with a 4% of battery drop not very what do you say harsh result or what do you say harsh uh, heating of the device normal heating is being reported over there now talking about the safety status, the safety status does pass, so you have kind of not faced any sort of issues also in that part. Now talking about the, those who are asking me regularly about DRM info, we are getting the L1 security level so far. So Netflix and Prime are have no issues for the streaming of 1080p content. Now talking about the stability and all the things, I have been using it for 2 days and I can must say that stability has increased so far and if you talk about the chain locks of the device so far so this is the latest update and here you can see that april security patch has been added and updated translation apps and i already talked that optimization on battery usage of pixel launcher and minor issues have been fixed so far 
so there is any is not not issue that you are find so far the build is have what do you say flawless everything even you instagram twitter handle everything is working fine those who ask me about the uh, photos spoofing is there or not you can see that the pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no cost so that is so far good that we are getting so far if we are also getting the call recording but yeah all no call recording announcement is also present over there so this is all the full and final review of this custom roam that i have used in my device and i can highly recommend this custom roam and if you have uh, banking apps also you can do run that i i have run my banking apps and i do traded a few apps like grow and upstocks and there is any issues with that also so if you really did enjoyed watching this video you must gonna like this video and subscribe to this channel for more sick of content so my name is arav i am signing you off we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye